What if humans weren't the only people on the planet? What if there were others like us on Earth, but living in the ocean, mermaids and mermen? If mer people did exist, how would they live? This is what if, and here's how your day would go if you were a mer person. It's hard getting out of bed after the best sleep of your life. Who knew a mattress made of treated seaweed could be so comfortable? Of course, comfort is key when all your furniture is made of stone. Limestone, sandstone, shale or slate, whatever your choice of decor, it's got to come from the ocean. Maybe you overslept, but that's not a problem. After all, your morning routine is pretty much taken care of. Why shower when you already live underwater? As a mer person, you always look your best since saltwater minerals keep your complexion clean and rejuvenated. Now, what to wear? You don't really have a lot of choice since pants require legs and dresses would just get tangled in your tail. But under the sea, hassle-free corsets and waistcoats are always in style. You look good, you're well rested, and it's time to start your day. What's waiting for you on the other side of your door? Like all merpeople towns, your ocean community is in the sunlight zone. The ocean is divided into zones based on depth, sunlight, twilight, and midnight. After about 200 meters, the ocean turns pretty dark, so it's nice that you live in an area that still gets light and supports photosynthesis. The views in your town rival anything above the surface. Underwater mountain ranges, volcanoes, and lush meadows of grasses are just a few features to marvel at. But don't get too distracted, there are sharks in these waters. Forget what you've seen in the movies, sharks don't consider people food. While it's true that sharks sometimes mistake people for a more appetizing type of prey, humans actually kill more sharks than they do us. Speaking of appetite, is it lunchtime yet? What do you order? Is it cruel to ask for the catch of the day? The ocean actually has a lot of healthy options that don't involve eating your neighbors. As a mer person, your diet consists primarily of seaweed, and there are 10,000 different species to choose from. Don't worry about taste, the ocean's got salty, spicy, and even sweet flavors too. Maybe try some pepper dulse, which humans use as a curry-flavored spice. And how about some sugar kelp for dessert? But whether you're on land or at sea, there's still no such thing as a free lunch. It's time to pay up. Paper money won't do you much good down here, but a few clams can carry you a long way. Of course, we're just talking about the shells. In fact, tribes in the Americas used to use shells as a type of currency, so it wouldn't really be weird to pay in shells after all. So if you can afford to shell out for some lunch, why not treat yourself to some entertainment too? Here, your options are limited, since without electricity underwater, the cinema and the World Wide Web don't work so well. But the ocean is home to some of the world's best clubs. There's no better dance party than one without gravity, where you can shimmy in all directions and at different depths. It's getting late and you decide to turn in. Well, maybe after a little nighttime reading. After all, you don't buy books bound in treated seaweed just because they look old and sophisticated. And do you really need a better reason to use the world's coolest bedside lamp? Just as humans know electricity, mer people know how to cultivate bioluminescent bacteria. They fill orbs with it. Because bacteria is practically weightless, these orbs of light float about under the ceiling, and the bacteria in them light up automatically when it gets dark. As you ease into sleep after another productive day, maybe you begin to dream. Now that you know what it's like to live underwater, where else might your curiosity take you? Underground? Amongst the clouds? To another dimension? Try a new world next time on What If.